This is question number 21 on the June 2014 calculator paper. So question 21 says expand and simplify and we have a pair of brackets here. This should be something that's pretty straightforward and something that you should be familiar with. We have y minus 2 and y minus 5. Okay, you may well have a range of techniques from the box method or the smiley face or whatever method you use. I'm going to use this link, sometimes called the smiley face method. Y times y is y squared. 2 times 5 is 10. That's a minus times a minus, so this is going to be plus 10. In the middle, minus 2 times y is minus 2y y times minus 5 is minus 5y. Okay, this question is worth two marks, and having worked this out, you've picked up one mark so far. I've got one y squared term, which I'll write in my answer space. I've got one number term, which is positive 10, which I'll put in my answer space as well. And in the middle, I have two y terms, minus 2y and minus 5y, which together combine to give you minus 7y. Okay, make sure you do know how to do this. Make sure you can do it and get full marks in it. Let's have a look at part B. In part B, the question says, prove algebraically, prove algebraically that 2n plus n squared minus 2n plus 1 is an even number for all positive integer values of n. One more thing, the question has a star next to it, so there's marks for quality of written communication. So these proof questions, you should be familiar with these if you've done your proof um, work and you've, you've sort of studied this. What we need to do is to simplify this expression, right? expand it out, tidy it up, and then think about how we can rearrange it or put it in a form to help us prove that it's always even for all positive integer values of n. So if n, so that means n is a positive whole number. Okay, so let's look at this expression. 2n plus 1 all squared minus 2n minus, oh sorry, plus 1. So 2n plus 1 all squared, and that's 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And subtract 2n min, uh, plus 1. Okay, I'll deal with this side. Next, I'm going to, first of all, expand these brackets. 2n times 2n is 4n squared. Plus 1 times plus 1 is positive 1. That's at the other end. In the middle, I'm going to have 2n times 1 is plus 2n. And I have 1 times 2n, which is plus 2n. Okay, if we pass this minus sign through, the brackets, I'm going to get minus 2n minus 1. And now let's deal with this expression. Let's tidy it up. Basically, we're going to collect together like terms. So how many n squared terms are there in here? There's just those four. So I have 4n squared. n terms, I've got 2n plus 2n is 4n. 4n take away 2n is 2n. So that's positive. 2n plus 1 take away 1. They cancel each other out. They give you 0. So I'm just left with 4n squared plus 2n. As I said before, once I've expanded, I just need to tidy it up. Right? I'm going to factorize this and pull out a factor that can go into both of them. Now, 2 can go into both 4 and 2. And they both have a n. Well, this has n squared and this has n. So I can take a factor of 2n outside the brackets. 2n times 2n is going to give me 4n squared and 2n times 1 is going to give me 2n. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward right up to this point here. I've expanded this and now I need to show that this is always going to be an even number. So remember, n is a positive whole number. It's a positive or whole number. So 2n, 
Qn is always even. Because no matter what n is, right, if n is any number, two times that number is going to give you an even number. Basically, that's all the numbers in the two times tables. 2n plus 1 is always going to be an odd number. And that's because 2n is even, and even plus 1 is going to turn into an odd number. So 2n plus 1 is always odd. And these are what, these are rules that you should be familiar with, especially with these types of expressions. And one of the things that you need to also know is that an even, so we have 2n, 2n plus 1, they're times in each other. So an even number times an odd number is always going to be an even number. So what this means is, so 2n brackets 2n plus 1 is always even if n is a positive integer. Okay, all right, this is the sort of full answer to this question. Make sure you do understand it. Make sure you can do it yourself, and you need to be aiming for full marks in it.